the most important thing for a filmmaker, uh, for an aspirant filmmaker is to learn his craft. In many cases, people think, you know, you can download a film from, from the internet and watch it and then go and make a film. Uh, that is not the right way of looking at it. Because the cinema encompasses many things. You have painting, you have music, you have uh, all, you know, kinetic movements, compositions. Uh, it's a very complex art. But you, if you are, if you are ill-equipped, you know, you are lost. Uh, if you are making commercial films, maybe nobody bothers. But you, if you want to really make worthwhile films, you have to master the craft. You have to have, you have to be in love with your uh, work, with your medium, and that should be the soul, your soul life. Cinema for me, it is my life. Uh, I define myself as a filmmaker, nothing else. I don't do anything else other than making films. So I am I'm really under the spell of the magic of cinema. Even when there is no magic shown in the cinema, when it is showing utter reality, uh, it is it is uh, exciting. It is. It is great to share this experience of cinema with larger audiences. Uh, this I have been enjoying for a long time. So I, I take pride in the fact that I am a filmmaker. So I think uh, adolescence is mixed with nostalgia. I think if you take the number of films made on adolescence, and of coming of age, they will be, the number will be in a, in, a, in a majority, I think, compared to any other subject. So, adolescence is a very beautiful period in everyone's life. Everyone has, whether a boy or a girl, everyone has the, the, the first-hand experience of it. It may vary uh, in degrees, but all the same. It's a very beautiful period of one's life. So filmmakers keep going back to adolescence for a subject. And uh, the viewers also do enjoy that trip back to the past. The worst thing that can happen to a film is to fail at the box office and also fail to elicit any good opinion about the work from people who are knowledgeable, who are, uh, who are even kind to the filmmaker, etc. But once it fails in eliciting that kind of response, either commercially or artistically, then you can say that that is the worst that can happen to a film. So then nobody can save it. There is one filmmaker whom I like. He has made a couple of documentaries and also he made a feature film called uh, Image Threats. Uh, it has been shown in some of the international festivals. And the, but the film is, uh, I can say, very experimental. And uh, for that very reason, many people have failed to make contact with the film. That's a very sad thing. But I'm sure he, he is making, he will be making other films. Right now he is, uh, he is getting a grant from somewhere and uh, making a film now. And his name is Vipin Vijay. And many people do not know him, but then he is one filmmaker to watch, I think. No, I have, I have never compromised on my subjects or treatments. 
and even in terms of uh, investment that you make in these films. I always spend uh, the right amount of money. There is no compromise done. There is no, no low budget. I always say that I always have the right budget. Not excess and not uh, showstring either. So you need uh, to do a certain uh, film with the, with, the, uh, with the special background and characters and artists and all that. You need a certain effort, you need a certain expenditure to achieve that. So you do that. So none of my producers have ever complained that I spend more than what the budget was made for. So I, I always uh, limit my, my production to the budget because I, I plan everything in detail. And I am not, I am not the one who will be swept away by <laughs> somebody's uh, glossy success. I am not after that. Uh, those who wish to do that, they do uh, such films. And I don't envy them. They, that is what they deserve. They, they, they long for that. They yearn for that and they get it. I don't do that. But my films are seen by, by the world. And not only back home, but uh, outside India also. Some of the films are even distributed commercially. Some are getting distribution through other sources. So people get to see these films. That's very important for me.